Hi YouTubers, about three weeks ago, me and my wife went to a 70s dinner at church and we got there a little bit early and I walked back in the kitchen and one of the cooks said, Roger, you got a knife on you? And I said, well, I sure do. She said, you care to cut this little string over here on these potatoes? I said, sure. So I had a little Gerber Balotin, assisted opening knife. When I opened it, she startled and jumped back. She said, Roger, is that a switchblade? I said, no. I said, uh, it's called an assisted opening. She said, well, you know switchblades are illegal in this state. I said, well, maybe they are, but this is not a uh, switchblade, and I'll show you how it works. So I said, you push down on this little stud here, push down and out, and the knife does the rest. So after the dinner, went home and started thinking about what had happened. I have plenty of knives, so I thought I'd just try to find a knife that would, I could carry like a little Sunday knife. So here's a few of the ones that I tried thought I might be able to use this little drifter, but it's similar. If I'd popped it out real fast, that might have scared her. So I thought maybe that could be just a little bit too big around people. So I've got a little Gerber Easy out. Nice knife. That shouldn't scare too many people. Nope, but that's just something about it. I didn't want to use. Got this little case camo knife. I think that would be just right. But I could be called a redneck. But knives and guns and hunting, it goes with camo, and that's what I do. So I had another one here. little buck nano, very light, ideal thing to carry. In a way, I thought I might maybe lose this little knife. So, I thought about this, no way. I came to the one I felt was the winner, it was a little CRKT. Pizzota. A little frame lock, nice little knife. That's Paps Knife 63. Thanks.